So if you guys watched my most recent video, you know that I just recently winterized my boat, sadly. But the good thing is that allows me to focus more on kayak fishing, which is severely underrated, especially in the fall. So today I wanna to go over some of my favorite techniques to use in the kayak, as well as show you one of my favorite local places to buy tackle in Connecticut. Let's talk about it. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Dishes and Fishes where I show you how to cook and set hooks. Today we're going fishing and we're taking the kayak out. But first I want to head to a little tackle shop in Newtown, Connecticut called Bounty Hunters Bait and Tackle. It's run by a guy named Devin. One of the nicest, most passionate guys I've ever talked to in the fishing world. Definitely check this shop out if you're in the area. So let's hear from Devin. My name is Devin. I'm the owner of Bounty Hunters Custom Bait and Tackle and Candle Lake Guide Service. We're open Tuesday to Sunday, all year round. I uh, consider us a new age bait shop. We carry Beast Coast, we carry Depths, we carry Six Sense, Strike King, KVD Plastics. We carry a, a ton of live bait. We also carry saltwater from green crabs, eels, sandworms, ton of custom stuff that we, we make ourselves. We do custom jig heads, uh, Ned rigs, swim bait heads, herring heads. We put our, all of our own hooks in them instead of all of the cheap stuff that you would get at, a, at normal box stores. We offer for the same price, a better hook. We've modified molds. We hand tie all of our jigs. We hand paint everything in house. We hand pour plastics. We inject plastics all in house. We continue to hopefully expand along with everyone's support and we thank Tyler for coming out here and doing stuff today and giving us this chance to work with him. So fall fishing in Connecticut is actually pretty darn good. This time of year, the fish really like to key in on bait fish. The smallmouth really like to chase all the owl wives, so we're throwing a ton of our own swim baits. We call the rippers. We offer two inch to six inch baits. With that along with Kitex, slow rolling them on the bottom is an awesome technique. You can pretty much do it anywhere on the lake, any hump, any point, anywhere you're marking fish, you got a good chance of catching smallmouth, largemouth, great pan fish. Regularly see crappie over a pound, pound and a half, sometimes over two and even into the three pound range, which is pretty cool. There's not many places that uh, hold such giant crappie in Connecticut. Uh, the next technique that I'd really like for the fall is, is jerk baits for shallow water. There is some, some jerk baits that go a little bit deeper, which do help this time of year, but there's nothing wrong with going up shallow and, and beating the hell out of the banks with some jerk baits. You should get something to react out there. It's an all around good time to fish. You can get away with a ton of different, different baits, crank baits, spinner baits, top waters, you name it, go out there and have some fun and uh, enjoy the weather, man, because there's not that many pleasure boaters out there. There's not as much fishing pressure. Definitely come and give us a look through and see what we offer. Um, I promise you, you won't be disappointed. And you can come and check it out, ask my opinion on anything. I'm always here to help anyone at any time, even if you don't buy anything, I got, I've got no problems with that. Give me a call, hey Devin, what's going on on Candlewood? What are the baits that are working right now? What custom stuff are you guys offering at the moment? and I'll take care of you guys the best I can. Now you're getting warmed up. Yep, I like it. See, that? that's my stuff right there. Yeah, dude. That's, that's what I like. So now that we're stocked up on Bounty Hunter gear, let's talk about why you should be fishing into the late fall and some techniques to help you catch bass in the late fall. When it comes to fishing in late fall, I'm talking about water temperatures when they're in the 40s and kind of dropping towards ice. Like Devin said, one of the best things that you can do is throw a bait that imitates bait fish. Bass will be keying in on bait fish imitating lures and I've got a few of those I wanna share with you right now. So before I get into the bait fish imitating baits that I like this time of year, one of the first things that I do this time of year that usually works pretty well is try to catch fish flipping. So most of the time you can always catch some size largemouth bass on the bank, flipping a jig or flipping a Texas rig. If you live in Connecticut, I picked up some of these flipping jigs from Bounty Hunters. I like either 3 8 ounce if it's windy or quarter ounce if it's no wind to get a nice slow fall this time of year. I also like the Bounty Hunters jigs because each one's custom painted as you can see. He'll make whatever you want. And the hooks on these things are really sharp. My favorite type of jig, honestly, is a football jig, but either a football jig or a flipping jig this time of year can be really deadly. If I'm buying a jig from Tackle Warehouse, I like the Drew Benton finesse jig, I think it's called. But jig flipping, flipping laydowns, flipping the banks in the fall, that's like 
one of the most reliable ways to get bit. So moving on to the bait fish imitating baits. The first one, like Devin said, is a jerk bait. Now I already did a video on jerk baits. This is a Mega Bass Vision 110. It's probably the best fish catching jerk bait in my opinion. I've caught them on other jerk baits too. Jerk bait is just a really good technique in spring and fall. Check out my video I did on jerk baits if you want to know more about them. But this is definitely another good method to catch fish in the fall. Now let's talk about my top three late fall bass catching machines. First, we've got the paddle tail swim bait. If you want to see this bait in action, check out my smallmouth beat down video from Jackman, Maine. That's primarily the lure that we use there. And one of the things that I like to do in late fall is downsize the swim bait. Devin offers that little ripper swim bait. I think it's like a two point something inch bait, 2.5, 2.8. That thing is really good in late fall when the water temperature drops. And I like to throw that on either the Bounty Hunter's 1 8 ounce jig head if it's not windy. And if it is windy, I'll go to a quarter or even a 3 8 ounce if I need to. Let it fall to the bottom. And I like to just give it a couple cranks and inch it, inch it, inch it, and kind of just swim it right along the bottom. And that's a really killer bait for both smallmouth and largemouth. You can also cover a lot of water with it if you're fishing shallow. You can fan cast it all over the place. Covers a ton of water. Paddle tail swim bait anywhere in the country, any time of year, is gonna catch bass. My number two fall bait, which is my number one spring bait, is a hair jig. This is Bounty Hunter's custom hair jig. They tie these right in the shop, like he said in the video. There's nothing that beats this bait in cold water, in my opinion. It's just ridiculous, especially for smallmouth. Hair jig is untouchable. Full time though, same thing. Hair jig, cold water, water in the 40s. Absolute killer for rock fishing, especially smallmouth. Can catch largemouth too, but this bait, you can't go without this bait if you're fishing up north. Check out my hair jig masterclass video if you want to know more about this bait. And the best bass catching lure this time of year, for sure, is the blade bait. I typically use this one by Hedon, Hedon, the same company that makes the spook that I still don't know how to say their name. It's on Amazon Prime, I think it's like eight bucks. They offer like four or five different colors. This thing has worked for me. The one that seems to be popular right now is the Binsky blade bait. Bounty Hunters also make some blade baits in their shop that I fish with a few times. But again, this thing is kind of just like a miniature, heavier, lipless crankbait. It has more of a vertical presentation. It sinks to the bottom. You can kind of jig it up off the bottom. You can fish it similar to a drop shot. You just want to have that vertical presentation up off the bottom. You can also fish this thing shallow like a lipless crankbait, kind of fan cast it and vertical yo-yo it back to the boat. Very versatile bait. You can see the small bait fish profile of the blade bait. This thing's awesome. So that's it guys. You got a few more weeks till there's ice and we can no longer fish from boats. I know the fishing can be tough, but the fishing pressure is very, very light this time of year. Give those lures a try on your local bodies of water, especially if you have a kayak and you will be surprised at the quality of fish you catch. Some of the best quality fish you catch all year or this time of year. So thanks for watching guys. If you like this video, be sure to hit that like and subscribe button and I will catch you in the next episode. Peace.